Guys, this is Julio. He's 48 years old. Born in Costa Rica, been married 25 years, two kids, uh, live currently in South St. Paul, Minnesota. And he's an avid runner who's always had a dream of run across the U.S. Oh, and Julio has danced with depression, but he didn't receive the help he needed until he was an adult. Earliest recollections probably when I was seven years old. So when Julio got help, he found tools that helped him dance with his depression. He also found that running helped with his depression. Once I got into the rail uh, trails and more like the long distance stuff, um, it helped me with my thoughts. You learn to live in the moment. And I wasn't worried about the past and I wasn't worrying about the future. I was in that moment right there running. And in July of 2013, Julio had some work that he did with the local psych ward. And I just remember going to this place. I never been to a place like that before. And the only thing that I can remember was thinking, this is just like like the movie um, Girl Interrupted. Hey Dave, let anyone in your room yet? And I remember when I left that place, the whole way, I'm like, I been dealing with mental health issues all my life. I just came from a place where I saw where, where people were get there when it's too late sometimes. Decided that I wanted to create a project to educate people about mental health issues, that it is okay to talk about them. He came up with this idea to combine his passion for running and his love for wanting to help bring awareness to mental health and help other people. So he created Defeat the Stigma Project. His mission was simple. He was gonna run across Minnesota from South Dakota to Wisconsin and along the way to bring awareness to mental health. Nobody has ever heard about me. I, I just run, I don't run races, I don't enter races, but I, I like to run and I think it would be a good idea to show that this guy can do it and if I can do it, anyone can do it. But would people join along? Would people care? And could he even do it? That's a long ways to run. So it was my personal goal. It was kind of my personal goal to um, run across Minnesota for mental health issues, talk about my issues. What he found was a lot of people cared. A lot of people have a personal connection to mental health. Uh, another thing that was very important to me was to stop and talk to kids along the way and talk to schools, uh, talk to anyone who would listen. It's the skeleton that's in everybody's closet but nobody talks about and as soon as someone starts talking about it, it gives other people permission to talk about it too. I also learned that a lot of people who run these long distances or even any distance, um, a lot of these people have dealt with a lot of uh, drug and alcohol issues. So this one-time run across Minnesota turned into a run across Wisconsin. They ran across Illinois. And this turned into a successful podcast where he brought experts from the mental health industry and runners and combined those forces to talk more about mental health. This one crazy idea that he had about wanting to bring awareness to mental health and his love for running exploded into this huge, powerful, life-changing thing. The whole idea was to do it that one year, one time, run from South Dakota to Wisconsin and get it done and over with. However, because of the response that we got, uh, we knew by the time that we got to basically the end that we have to do it when we're here. Now I sat with Julio for four hours today. And this video just scratched the surface of all the amazing ideas and things we talked about. And I love this story because it's a prime example of this thing that happened with me causing so much pain and turmoil over the years. He's used, now he's using that for good. And he's changing and saving lives because of it. So I'll let Julio end this video. Ah, last words, man. The last words that I want to tell anyone is just uh, don't be ashamed of mental health is illness. Uh, man, everybody has them. Most people have them. Four, I mean, one in every four people have a mental illness. And uh, seek help, man. Seek help is um, they're very treatable, just like anything else, like any uh, physical illness. Um, the sooner you do it, the, the better life you want to live and not only you but other people around you too and don't forget man, uh, people care. Guys, if you want to 
be a part of this movement, the Defeat the Stigma movement, you can go to, I burped, that's gross. You can go to the defeatthestigmaproject.org and it has everything you could ever want. It has podcasts, it has stories, it has places to donate, merchandise. If you buy a shirt, it's a nonprofit. All proceeds go straight back into helping people overcome their mental health issues and, and bring more awareness to this. Thanks for watching, guys. Life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. See you next Monday.